Hello friends, welcome to automation community. In the previous video, we have discussed about AND gate. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss about OR gate. So let's start. The output of an OR gate will be on when any one of the input is on. As you can see in the table, when both the inputs are off, the output is also off. And when one of the input is on, the output becomes on. And when both the inputs are on, the output is also on. So, no matter how many inputs are connected with the output, any one of those inputs should be on, then output will be on. So, let's move to the Eco structure machine expert, and then we will draw the ladder logic for our gate. So let's start. We'll open the software. We will keep it as inactive and then click on apply. Then we need to configure the device. I will take it at this. And then yes. And click on serial line and this and set the protocol as TMS 2G TV. And click on apply. Then we will go to the programming tab. So we need to draw a ladder logic for or gate. So we will click on the full screen mode and we will zoom in so we will click on contact and click here and another contact and click here now we need to add a coil we'll click on it and then click here so the coil is connected with this contact only so we need to connect this contact to the coil. So what we do is, we'll click on this icon and then we will draw a line like this. So both the inputs are connected with the coil. Now we will assign addresses, prefix is I for input I 0.0, .0 and I 0.1. We'll also add symbols to these contacts. I will take it as switch 1 and I will click on yes. We can also add symbol here. I will take it as switch 2 and click on apply. Then we need to assign address to the coil. I will click on address, double click on address, and then type Q and select Q 0.0. I will also add symbol to the coil as I will take it as LED. I will click on yes. So our ladder logic is ready. I will exit the full screen mode. And then I will compile and then we will go to the commissioning tab where we will launch simulator And then we will start controller. So the controller is started. So for LED to be on, any one of the input should be on. So 
if we activate I0.0, the current will flow through it and LED will be activated. And if we activate one as well, the LED will be still activated. And if we activate switch two only, then also LED will be activated. And when the two switches are not activated, LED will not be activated. So we will stop the simulator. And then we can add another contact here and assign address as I 0.2. I will also add a symbol. I can also add it here as switch 3. And then I will click on apply. So we need to connect the switch tree with the network. I will draw a line like this. So switch tree is also connected with the network. So in this case, any one of these inputs will be activated and then LED will be activated. If we activate switch 1 only, LED will be activated. If we activate switch 2 only, LED will be activated. And if we activate switch 3 only, LED will be activated. So we will compile it. And then we go to commissioning, launch simulator. Start controller, OK. And if we activate switch 1, LED will be activated. If we activate switch 2, LED will be activated. And if I activate switch 3, LED will be activated. So any one of the switches I activate, LED gets activated. It was all about OR gate. Thank you for watching.